Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of Let's Play an Empire Divided on the Eagle Rising mod for the 1.2.9 Bannerlord edition. So we are playing on the current version, if anyone is uh, misunderstanding the, you know, the lines there. Um, so we ended the last part uh, needing to sell some people. Did we... Wow, that sounds really bad. But yes, we did indeed sell some people. So if we bought... Okay, we can't buy all the horses. Okay, so how many horses can we buy without... Buy up to 20 without really breaking the bank. This will give us some good speed, so I should be able to now take myself off the horse. Yep, so we now start off the horse. So, today's part, what we're going to do is we're going to just get ourselves the first clan tier. Get ourselves some soldiers, get ourselves, uh, you know, some fin. Ooh, a brass attic helm. Now, yeah, these tournaments definitely do take a while, but... I do think tournaments uh, on this are definitely uh, a lot of fun. Uh, mostly because you know, like you know, the weapon choices are like really fun on um, uh, Eagle Rising. You know, like you get a lot of OP weapons, especially if you're like doing an Empire one, like we're doing. Uh, it's just easier for me. Oh God, nearly stabbed there. There we go. Beautiful. Um, oh, it's a Pugio fight. And I got the uh, most unarmored person. Okay, this is uh, this is literally just a who can stab each other the fastest. Will you just let me stab you, please? This is just rude. I need this. I'm poor. Let me stab you, goddammit. There we go. See? Oh my god, why are we having Pugios off? Oh, fucking... Oh, wait, we actually have throwing weapons this time? Good. Shit in hell, that actually nearly killed me, but I just walked out of it, I think. There we go. Brand new helmet for me. Unfortunately, we missed the roll for it to be legendary, lordly, or fine. But that is okay, because I legitimately just intend to sell it. Because as cool as that looks, I'm happy with this for now. So we'll just, we'll sell it for a moderate, you know, income. Right, so, uh, we did get really lucky, uh, finding this armor, uh, you know, some, like, really good, like, I think it was, like, a lot better than our armor in some ways, but, still, uh, we do need to go find ourselves some good groups of rebels now, uh, fucking hell, that's what I was lying over there, now, I do want to see what these rebels are like, because I haven't fought these rebels yet, just... okay, so they do look like, just look like the German troops, or the Germanics, or, however you say that long word that they were i don't know how to pronounce it if i'm completely honest but yeah our, our infantry is pretty much all uh legionari um with some praetorians although there is an auxilia there he'll um more than likely become a uh, sagittari afterwards we do have our praetorians and of course the optio our single allowed optio so it's going to be a very slow beginning, um, purely because battles take longer, because, you know, the AI are actually a little bit smarter with realistic battle mods. I don't know how they do it, but they do. But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to chill. There's no point us aggressing, being aggressive. May as well wait. So it's... Feudis Feudiskak? Skaz? I actually really don't know. I'm going to call them Germanic, because I legitimately don't think I could say that about someone saying it for me to hear first. Now, troop-wise, I've not been overly in happy with my um, in, uh, my Sagittari. We may have to buy uh, get out sorry buy ourselves. We may have to get ourselves some auxilia from different um, factions, because uh, because that's the uh, another reason why I wanted to play as um, the Imperials for the first playthrough on the newest version of the mod is because uh, they have um, auxilia for every faction. I think actually every faction but um, the Canetians, I think. I don't think there's any Canetian. And they just kill one of my archers. How dare you? Uh, I don't think there's any Canetian um, auxilia. I will check after this battle, though, because it, be, it would be cool if there was. Because it would obviously give us uh, an option to of new troops everywhere. 
Uh, one Sagittari is not a big loss either. It's only a Sagittari. Uh, if we lose our infantry, then I'm a little bit upset, but I'm not upset in the sense of like, uh, only upset in the sense of like, damn, now I have to go buy a new one. Um, right, let's check troops, like I said. Uh, Kanishan, where are you? Kanik Anahi? Nasi? Oh, you know, there is. Holy shit. Oh, that's cool. So there's literally Kanish. There's every type of Kanish. Uh, every type of auxiliary. So this is, again, a reason why playing as this faction first, to me, feels right. Because it's, you know, there's just so much on offer. We also have the most uh, of these as well. They, they have the single amount, most amount of them. So, you know, we will not be uh, at a loss for those, I don't think. Oh, Batani Raiders. They are all infantry, surprisingly. All right, let's... Uh, We'll invite ourselves into fighting them, I guess. Uh, apparently, they think they can beat us, so... Let's immediately prove them wrong by, uh, you know, waiting. So let's actually maneuver up, because I feel like we could... Uh... Oh, that's the reason why I should... Yeah, that's the reason why I don't want to move, but oh well. Alright, is there a... Yeah, actually, one second. Let me just check something. Uh, gameplay. Is there a setting where I can... All, my troops automatically look where they're meant to be looking? You know, instead of me having to tell them again. No, there isn't. Oh, well. Okay, that is a lot of angry Britannians. Uh, yeah, I'm still... Unfortunately, uh, my throwing arm is still garbage. Right. Oh bloody hell! That was a that was a beautiful volley by the uh, the rebels there. Holy hell! Yeah, if we I'm gonna be surprised if we don't lose more troops than usual this time, because that was absolutely gorgeous of like a volley right there. Like holy! I'm like I think I'm gonna get knocked out for a change. Be our first knockout in the entire game so i didn't get knocked out in the entire tournament oh no, no wait i think i pulled it back god damn yeah our troops uh pulled uh pulled out for us right there that was beautiful there we go we'll, we'll let that batani bandit uh britain bandit get away we don't we don't need to fight him oh uh, yeah no we'll take the prisoners as well actually why not um yeah all uh, Auxilia going straight into um, becoming the, what's it called? Uh, the archers for now. We don't really need them as infantry. Not for now yet. Not for now anyway. We may do at some point, but there's another 10 grand already. Holy shit. Uh, 30 is about right we need for horses. So there we go. So I'm still getting 7 grand. Um, uh, do, we, do you have any sumters? You have nine sumters. Can I? Can I? I'm gonna buy up to there. We go. We'll, we'll, we're gonna get five grand profit. But in in you know, if you think about it, the profit really is just the fact that we now have um a, amazing um you know amazing speed and also we can now carry some stuff. Look at that, 263. Is, is that a single? That's a single guy. Yeah. Even the AI have got a very good uh you know amount of troops, which is what we want to see. But it looks like Batani Bandits might be the strongest we've encountered so far. Uh, ooh, 26 Babari. Yes, please. Yeah. That's going to give us some good loot. Uh, now, as soon as we are able, we will be joining uh, the Northern Imperium to try and help unite this divided empire we're, like, you know, we're trying to fight, uh, fight for. Wow, we... That was, like, no money. Okay, Frugal there was completely useless. On my orders. I'd be lying if I said I expected it to take off more. Slowly but surely, our men are all becoming kind of, you know, the toppity, tippity toppity tier. Which, uh, as soon as they get to this uh, level, we can bring them into Praetorians and all other units. I will be making more Praetorians, but because they cost 20 gold a unit instead of like, I think, I think these cost like eight, maybe. Um, yeah, the sheer uh, amount of gold, like disparity, makes it very um, hard to uh, want them. Not, well, not hard to warn them, but it makes it uh, hard to justify the immediate purchasing of them right now. Oh, god damn. He got an arrow right in the face there. There we go. 
I think one thing I do need is a spear in realistic battle modes because really spears are absolutely if I remember correctly they're really good in realistic battle mods yeah, another beautiful victory for us there uh, we're not going to take any prisoners for now um, yeah I'll have a look at the um, what's it called I want to see what the uh, actual price of my troops is so uh, so the yeah these guys are 8 and yeah 30 and 20 but like the Praetorians are actually really good and I'm going to grab we're going to max out on Praetorians they cost 500 gold each to buy them but they obviously once they're there they're really good um yes we can't exceed our limit uh, I don't need you just yet um yeah, the Pillars Prior is the best unit we've got, uh, with the Praetorians being a uh, close second. Okay, so we can get Equites Praetorians as well. So, it, again, it literally is just these guys that, you know, turn into everything. But uh, they have really nice armor, actually. What, the, what armor are they? Are they wearing cavalry armor? Yeah, Praetorian cavalry muscle culture. That looks really nice. Um, I'm going to assume I can probably get more troops. Not yet, no. Um, still a little bit of time. Uh, we don't want to head out into uh, head out of the land we're currently in. We want to stick to this land um, purely because obviously we want to make sure we're ready to join at a moment's notice. Uh, they are currently at war with the Dryatics and the um, the Germanics. So we, we you know we've got immediate choices when we uh, join up with them. And I think because of the way this work, the mod is like, you know, units work on this mod and how big, how armies, you know, you can put them together. I think we should be able to join as a mercenary and immediately be able to do some good fighting. So that is what I'm looking forward to is, you know, being ready to immediately turn around and do some good war. Yeah. But it is a uh, slow burn first when we get our troops into position. Uh, yes, we do have cavalry now. A single Praetorian on horseback, which I only did because I was interested to see if they were um, go. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to move up. Uh, I was interested to see if they, uh, you know, you did them um, the same way you used to do them, which is we, you do you do them through the infantry free still. It is good to know you do them through the infantry tree, but at the same time, it's a little bit like uh, a little bit. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I feel I, I feel it could be cooler if my I you know promote cavalry. Like I had to get cavalry auxiliary. Actually, no, they wouldn't make sense as auxiliary. They would it, yeah. No, I mean I guess it makes the most sense as it is. Yeah, our Praetorians are gonna immediately start eating the. Oh look at that! I wish I could throw that well. I mean, technically, in time we will be able to. It's just we can't yet. Okay, we'll send all of our men in. Um, yeah, uh, so Praetorian Cavalry are actually just melee cavalry as well. They're not even uh, shot cavalry. That is interesting. It means we can't, you know, use them as like a infantry charging cavalry. Their best job it will be to kill off ever other cavalry. All right. Now that we know that, we'll use them as such, I think. Uh, that should, yep. That's So we've got nine archers, two cavalry. I don't know why we've got two cav, because I'm not cav anymore. But whatever. Um, a balanced... Oh, wow. That's going to that hopefully get me some good money. Like, this is hopefully some good money right here. As, as soon as we are able, we're, as soon as we join up, we are going to want to immediately go to the Smithing Guild and be like, all right, what can we buy that only people who have uh, who are uh, members of this jo uh, can they buy? There is also uh, mercenaries here, uh, mercenarius. Um, not really something we need or want. Um, we, you know, we, we've got normal troops, we'll be fine. Now, before we do join as a mercenary, I do want to see what my force limit will be like. Um, yeah. I don't want to... Uh, I'm also going to try and do this. Okay, yeah, see, this is where we actually lost troops here. But beforehand, if we do the battle ourselves, we don't lose troops. That's very interesting. So this does mean I'm going to have to make sure I do every battle still. Uh, I do need one more archer, so we'll, we'll get one more auxilia. Quickly pop over here, grab another unit. I'll pop, pop here, grab another unit, and then we'll move on. All right, 33. Good amount of men right there. Um, we just leveled up our scouting, so let's get uh, Pathfinder, I believe. Yep. 5.8. We're doing a really good speed right here. 
I want to try and find like a really big uh, bandit, but you know what? Let's just do... Um, let's go get this. Uh, we leveled up. Uh, yeah, I want more troops as quick as possible because as a, even as a mercenary, we're going to need a lot of them. Um, we do not want you. We do not want you. We do not want you. We want our most basic troops to, to help us here. Because again, we want to level them up. That's what we want them here for. And yeah, we'll let them throw weapons and then we'll let them, you know, do a bunch of killing. I feel sorry for like the one auxilia who's here with a bunch of actual citizens, but uh, yeah, you'll have to accept it, bro. Now, if we're lucky, I'll actually also be able to level up my fur in a little bit. Damn it. Yeah, we need, like, easy uh, shots, because right now, because of, obviously, we're playing on um, Realistic Battle Mods, I'm really not good with the realism realism aspect of it. So we're going to have to prepare myself to get better. How did that miss? The fact that it was only worth 10 points is what really upsets me here. Oh my god. Yeah, damage crushing through shields are something I forgot about. So many things about RBM that I do I forget, I, you know, are a thing. So I really need to be careful. All right, men, I'm kind of wanting you to do the rest of this, if you don't mind, because uh, I feel like I'm going to get myself killed if I try. So you never know. Maybe, maybe I can uh, not fuck this up. Well, that's rude. Don't call my men back. Oh, you just killed one of my Legionari. I needed him. Okay, bro. You're. I mean, you're only. Oh, he's a melee as well. You bastard! You killed the one, one, the one who's actually already been promoted at least once. Little shit. All right. So all we have to do now is kill everyone in there, and then we'll be golden. Uh, when it comes to the next round, we'll just let our men do it. I'm not gonna uh, waste my time fighting a duel, mostly because we will probably lose if I try. As again, it's the uh, the posture mechanic and whatnot. Still don't understand it completely. Uh, so we're gonna, you know, oh. I found a bit of bad texturing. Tut, tut, tut. The worst part is this is an actual Bannerlord map. Ugh, the Bannerlord careers. Tailworlds should be bit should do better. Like how dare they, you know? Ridiculous. Alright, are we good? Still three more. Jesus Christ, guys. Can you guys hurry up and just stab And there goes another one of my uh, infantry. A little bit rude, personally. And this is why I didn't want to bring my good infantry, because, you know, I care if they die. Whereas these guys are just an easy replacement. There we go. Right. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fire you. That Oh, you've got a spear as well, which is even more annoying. You. I like how he just immediately turns to his uh, sword, which is probably... Honestly, a horrible idea. Because he probably could have got a good bit of damage off on me uh, with that. There we go. See? Two lost. That was all. Beautiful battle. So promote All of them got promoted who lived. Got quite expensive spears there, actually. Holy shit. Uh, and some notables increased with people we actually want to be happy with us. So... 10 out of 10, honestly. Great uh, great uh, thing from us there. Get some uh, upgrades to our type formations. We've got some charisma as well. Uh, sell the prisoners. But most importantly... Yep, yeah, those spears are still worth quite a bit. Good. We've got 20 grand. Yeah, when we join up, we are going to be... Jo oh, we're plan tier 1. So what can I get? So I can now get a U and a U. And that's it. So I can now have up to 78 troops. Note to self, the numbers go up very quickly. So we now do technically have two cavalry because we have this guy who's the new cavalry, the uh, Decurio. Uh, we also have our Centurio. Um, so we have, you know, three officers now. Um, yeah, we're just going to grab a bunch of troops. 
Um, I could probably offer myself straight away now, actually, and I think I might offer myself straight away, like I said I was going to. Uh, we are going to need to start picking up some cavalry now as well, so we're going to need a lot more auxilia because, you know, they have to go down both trees. But we also need a bunch of uh, uh, infantry as well. So it's still worth grabbing the true, uh, you know, our normal legionari. Uh, we will also need to buy a shit ton of cavalry because obviously we're going to be using a lot of them um, to upgrade now. So let's buy... We'll buy up to 60. I know it's 10 grand. It's expensive, but it's a... Uh, it's not... Uh, you know, it's a it's a payment that like we have to make if you think if you get what I mean. Like it's not a uh, I'm not pay making the payment purely because uh, I'm making the payment because it is a very necessary payment. Oh wow, looks like we're actually looks like the Imperials are losing here. Nope, they were they 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 were winning now. They're good. They 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 turned it around. Good. Um, I mean you're not actually a village I care about. Bandit base near foreign. No, I don't really want to do the bandit base thing. Thanks. I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Now, we could become an immediate... Uh, yeah, we actually do need to watch our money. We are losing quite a lot of money right now. Holy shit. Um, I want this door off. I'm not wasting my time. I used to love doing that mission. I was like, yeah, easy gold. And now I'm just like, no thank you. You want me to go, like, miles out of my way for, like, honestly not a good amount of money. Okay, we really need some uh, to find some bandits right now. Yeah. There we go. Let's um, we should be fine with these. I mean, any bandits are good to kill, to be fair. So, let's have a look at our Decurio. He's over there, sat next to that Praetorian. Now, to be fair, we probably actually don't need any cavalry. I'm sure we could probably just get six Praetorius, um, and then, and six Praetorians and our Decurio, and that would probably more than, <laughs> that would actually cover everything we need as well, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think I, um... I, I think I've made a little bit of... Ah, fuck. It would have turned most of them into archers, I guess. It is probably just better to have Praetorians, you know, than um, normal cavalry. In fact, move! But, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? Not me, yeah, because obviously I haven't really played this uh, the mod on this version enough. Our men should be able to absolutely massacre them without much effort, I think. Cavalry! Forward! Infantry! Horsemen! Move! Charge! Yeah, we'll let our horses go in there as well. No reason not to, you know. They don't need XP, but it's still worth using them, you know. Now, we just gotta hope that we don't lose our officers as often as I do in my other camp. I did in my other campaign. Though, admittedly, at least I can replace them very, very easy in this one. Whereas, obviously, we couldn't replace them easily, which was the kind of the problem and the crux of why it was so important not to lose them so often. Uh, there is a tourney here, so let's wait till morning and we'll uh, sell some stuff and we'll see what these tourneys are like. So we've already made twenty-seven hundred there. Uh, what tourney? Uh, Republic. Republic. All right, what's that? Oh, it looks like it's showing old style, um, like empire, um, and uh, oh wow, I just chucked fucking over in that. Oh, that was. I'm sorry, it's giving me a Pugio again. Stop stabbing me with the Pujo, you little shit. There we go. Right. One green needs to go. And... Oh, fuck, who else goes? Just someone else needs to go. Okay, yellow and green need to go. Okay, good. We're through to the next round no matter what. 
Wait, treacherous Praetorian trio. Hero. God damn it. Oh, I have no shield. Well. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Just let them. Come on, stab me down. There we go. We're into the next round. It's a chucking contest. Yeet. Oh, it's actually going to give me a fucking gladius now. Good. That's right. Give me a proper weapon. Oh, we've just got given us a spaffer. Oh, fuck's sake. They actually took out my uh, reinforce my uh, companion. Yeah, I've... I don't think I'm going to be able to win against these two. Yeah. I'm not... I'm going to say, I'm trying to do an overhead strike and it just wasn't having it. I was trying to do an overhead strike, but I wasn't using the mouse correctly. I wasn't, like, trying to, you know... It just didn't work out. I got... Uh, I, I just got unlucky, um, you know. Uh, is there any good missions here? Gang needs recruit. Gang need needs... Yes. Gang leader needs weapons. Well... They need weapons. Go fucking get yourself some. I'm not doing it for you. I'm not doing your bloody hard, uh, dirty work. Needs tools. Honestly, that just sounds like a lot of effort. And it looks like we've got a chance to redeem ourselves in another tournament for Splint Boots. I think they're just basic game up. Yeah, they're just basic shit. Oh, fuck my life. Yep, this isn't going to fucking work. This is how I say it's gonna go very horribly. For no other reason than just because of how long it takes to fire an arrow when you have no bow skill. And the fact that, you know, I don't seem to do any damage. Well, if it wasn't a skill that I kind of wanted to train, because it's always good to have extra skills. Yeah, we're going to have to just... Ow. Yep, we fucked it. We were again for as soon as, like, as soon as all the infantry went, we were screwed. Because let's be honest, I don't trust the AI to do anything. Uh, I don't really want any more uh, auxilia for now. I uh, shouldn't really be buying any troops because we are currently in, uh, you know, we, we, money's a little bit, you know, a bit tighter than we'd want it to be. Um, all right. So we could offer ourselves immediately, but 17 glad rebels. Yes, please. Come and say yeah. hello. There we go. Under my okay, they're actually decently close, so we're not going to waste our time moving. Beautiful. To think we had money, a little, like, not even, like, a minute, a few minutes ago, and now we're like, oh, crap, money's running out. Okay, though, we will figure it out. We always do. Just charge everyone. There's no reason not to. If we're lucky, one of our, our Pretorius cavalry will die, so we don't have to pay the 20 gold. Uh, 20 gold. For Actually, a good point. How much is my Centurion and my uh, Decurio? I'm pretty sure they are ex they're really expensive because an Optio is 30. No yeah, how expensive are they? That is also. So we get okay. Decurio and Centurio give us 10 each, so that's really good to be fair. Um, I don't want cavalry just yet. I want more archers. Wax shoulder harnesses. Yeah. Not really, yeah. Not really spitting that uh, good gold out at me right now, are they? Um, and we're not going to get any auxiliary troops from other um, factions just yet. So, I wonder. So, let's have a quick look at... Before we end the part, we're going to have a look at... Uh, not kingdom, sorry. Troops. Uh, so, we've, we've seen Canetians. Let's look at these guys. So, what do they have? 
Wait, we don't have... Oh! Yeah, these guys, we don't have... Um... We there is no uh, auxiliary for them. Okay, so the north is a waste of time flying. There's obviously really good horse archers. Uh, like, so I think it's like every uh, auxiliary for different um, uh, troops, they have like a, a tier, a, you know, a best one. So these two are just the same. Apparently they're elite. I, I don't know what's different. Oh, they just have way heavier army, I'm assuming. Well, but if you see what I mean, they always seem to have like, even on these ones, they have better infantry uh, than they do here. So, you know, auxiliary, we have choices. Um, the Dryatic ones, the best one is they have a uh, two-handed Falksman. Uh, the Batani, if I remember correctly, have really good cavalry. Well, they were archers, but nope. The Vacan don't exist. You, uh... I don't remember. Yeah, that's everything. Alright, uh, it's another tourney. Uh, we don't really have time for it in this part, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, sell everything and see where we are. So we're nearly up to 10 grand again, but unfortunately, guys, we are going to have to end this part here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel memberships if you're interested. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.